Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome back. Actually, let's all welcome back. Back again. Stubbs the zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse. The game has been finally, well, will be finally re-released on Steam on the 16th of March. And it's gonna be a joyous day for everybody that's a fan of this old, old zombie game-based game. It's, it's just great. Also, one very important thing. I don't think I've mentioned this in, when I made the, the first video about Stubbs the Zombie. It has a two-player mode. I just totally forgot about it. And I mean completely, totally forgot about it. Because by the time I, I had made that video, the whole concept of, uh, you know, two-player split-screen uh, co-op or any kind of split-screen thing was dead. Not even undead, I mean just permadead. It, it just, it's something that didn't exist anymore. Much like this game itself. This, this is the kind of game that... Well, it doesn't really, uh, you know, um, gets made. You don't get games like this that often, do you? Because it's... Uh... There was a shift in the industry a long time ago. Around the time of the... Well, the Xbox... I'm sort of coming back to the idea that the Xbox 360 ruined video games. It kind of did. Around that time, you kind of stopped getting games like this. Games that were made during, let's say, let's call it the PS2 era. Uh, okay, so there were also some PS3 games that also were made in this vein. Games that were just fun. And I mean, they were just kooky, crazy, sometimes weird in ways you could not understand. Ways. There were multiple ways that were weird, that's why I said ways three times now. Not because I don't have a script and I'm just rambling like an idiot. But there were games that were strange. There were games that were unique. There were games that were not all open world uh, fetch quest simulators with grind and loot boxes and daily challenges and online connectivity that's just a uh, way to shove DRM down your throat and mine you for data. There are games like these, games that were not long. Uh, this stuff had like 12 levels plus a tutorial that's... Uh, if you go into the... Uh, I'm not sure if the recording thing is capturing this, but if you go into the uh, achievements, which the game that has, I don't remember if it had it on the Xbox or whatever it was on back then. I don't think the original Xbox had achievement, but the tutorial uh, has an achievement called That Didn't Age Well, which is complete the painfully slow force tutorial. And it's it's not really all that slow when it comes to tutorials. I mean, just compare it to the tutorial of any mobile game and it'll seem like an absolute... like walk in the park a pleasant stroll through the park and there's this hippo because the game was made by wide load games uh, they had a the logo of a hippo uh, the hippo tells you trying to skip ahead a eh? well you're not allowed to do that you started but not completed to this level what's wrong chicken i'm not a chicken i'm gonna prove it by clocking all the way through this game so the game's out and they don't make games like this one anymore. They just don't. It's, it's, it's a comedy game. They don't really make comedy games anymore. If you don't know what this game is about, it's about this... Oh, where is he? It's about... Where the, oh, yeah. It's about this guy. See? This guy. His name is Stubbs. Now he doesn't have an arm. I'm playing as the arm. And he um, he's a zombie. He wakes up in this kooky town called... Uh, what's it called? Punchbowl, yeah. Oh, Punchbowl has a theme song, by the way. I've never been to Paris. I've never been to Rome. I've never been most any place at all. Something, something, but Punchbowl's where I wanna fall in love to fall in love. The, the song is there because there's a barbershop quartet in the game that you have to fight. And we'll probably get to see them in this, uh, this thing right here soon enough. So, it's a comedy game. It's a comedy game that's not, you know, uh, 
based on anything. It's just just the game on its own. Did it just show me the finger? I, th I think I saw it wrong. No, <laughs> there was it was the index finger. So um, uh, there is actually I think that still there still are some games made in this vein of action, like level based uh, progression. But they're mostly um, licensed games, you know, your Shreks, your your Asterixes. They still make Shrek and Asterix games, right? I know there, there was an Asterix game recently, but it, it kind of reminds me... Okay, so yeah, the, he does he does show the finger. He does show the finger indeed, so I wasn't mistaken. He does do that. He is quite rude. But as I was saying... Uh, this is part of the genre of action sort of games that are comedy based. There are... they don't exist. You used to have a lot of these kooky strange games coming out usually on the PlayStation 2 from Japan. That's why I called it the, the PlayStation 2 sort of era. And uh, th they were short, they were kooky, they were weird, they were strange and... You weren't supposed to play them like non-stop and constantly come back to them every five... To rush every day because you have a new piece of loot to grind or something. You know, you just you just play them like once or twice now and again, and they were nice, and you loved them for that, for being just that, for being just what they were, and what they were was unique. But we don't have that anymore, do we? We have indie games that still try their best to do that when they're not chasing the trend, but nothing at the level. Of something like Stubbs the Zombie. I think it turned the volume too low. I can't hear what they're shouting. <laughs> yes, I have you, Mr. Policeman. Oh, Mr. Policeman. Yes, I am your friend. See, I I'm giving you a, a, a present in the form of a bullet. I actually missed quite badly there. Got a Twitcher, did I? Get oh god damn it, I got an achievement. The achievement was let's see. Get a Twitcher! We got a Twitcher. Oh I that's that's kind of a That achievement isn't really all that well that out. Is it? It's not very descriptive or anything. Okay, so now I have to try and save myself from the being killed by the cops. Actually being dissected by the um the uh, scientists. This town, by the way, is is built by not. Oh, I love that. Oh, by the way, uh, actually two. By the ways, one. Uh, the, this town is built. It's an American town called Punchbowl. Uh, or there, there's Stubbs' uh, wanted poster. Stubbs. This, uh, like I said, this town is an all-American town. You know, fellow patriotic Americans. That's built by a Nazi scientist. A reformed Nazi scientist, but the, the, the game has, like, again, superb humor. It's it's planet moon levels of, of humor. Also, the second also. I forgot what's, what the second also was going to be. And, uh, man, I should have probably written down some ideas or something. But it's everything's unscripted and live. It's always unscripted and live. Even some of the shows that look scripted tend to be unscripted. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that... This game is based on the exact same engine that Halo 1 is. It's the same technology. So, the shooting... <laughs> I was gonna say, feels sort of like Halo, but no, I, I can actually see where I'm going. You know, that there's an FOV. Also decapitations, because <laughs> it's fun that way. Decapitations, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, so corny. So blood spurtingly corny. Anybody in the toilet? I think I should probably switch hosts soon because this one's about to die out. Oh boy. Maybe if I... Yes, I am! Okay, just shoot me so I can take over your... Okay, maybe take over that guy's body instead. Now, because it's based on the same engine as Halo 1... Uh, first... Can I... Can I... Can I... Oh, okay, I can't detach from him. Okay, so that's... Maybe if I try to sneak through here, they won't notice. Yeah, 
don't notice the hand. Anyway, what I was gonna say is that... No, they notice. They notice. They notice. Oh, God damn it, they notice. Maybe they didn't. Yes, I am your friend. Look at me. I'm I'm friendly. Make friend face. Yeah, you're hit, and you're gonna die. So, when I last played this game on my oh god damn it, when I last played this game on my Athlon 64, it had some issues properly running. Um, basically, it didn't. There was there were issues with the game running on the um, the Radeon 1950 Pro. Where it just did not f function. Okay, here. Okay, so sneaking actually works in the game. Forget what I said. Sneaking works. It just didn't work. And from what I've seen on the the Steam uh, reviews thing, if you can trust the people there, then uh, the game may also have issues with modern Radeon cards too. I I can't check it because my modern Radeon card blew up. Yes, I am. Ah, oh, damn it. Gonna have to sneak past these guys somehow. Uh, the game is remastered, by the way, in case you're wondering. It, it, it looked like this back then. It looks like this now. I just shot that beam. Oh, if I could just feed on him. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm basically like, oh, I missed that guy. Can I strangle? Pe I'm gonna strangle the guy at the far end first, and then come back to the other guys. Yeah, take them all one by one. Hopefully detach. How do I detach, actually? I don't know. Ah, damn it. I pressed the wrong button. I don't work for the undead. Where'd you hear that? That's just a vicious rumor. Ah. Uh. Yeah, okay, okay, so don't press that button. I'm gonna try and strangle that guy. I can sneak through this like a professional. Completely, totally professional. Look at me, I'm Mr. Cop. I'm just a regular old cop here. Yep, yep, yep. Nothing to do here. Nope. Nothing suspicious. We're just, we're just cops. Just doing our thing, you know. Patrolling, doing paperwork. Probably shooting some black people and never getting punished for it. Well, I'm not. Ah, so they see me. Okay, okay. But I got one of them. Maybe getting one of them is enough. I can sort of cheese it with the other ones. The game does have, does have some uh, some hit scan inning and its uh, aiming, so it's it's quite lenient. I mean, it, it was designed for a gamepad. So it is quite lenient with the aiming. That's okay. This part, by the way, this shooting part isn't the greatest, but you can see limbs flying off, not just heads. Limbs. I broke that guy's arm. Just die. Okay, come on. You're dead. Okay, you're dead. Ah, he just ran away. Now he's back. Back again. Okay, let's hide the pistol and hopefully nobody on the inside will notice all the bodies at least it saves the game doesn't have any auto save uh, any part any manual save function but the auto save seem to do a proper job of it and i can't run when i'm controlling this guy usually i can run as a zombie i'm i'm faster as a zombie than i, than I am as a human hey just your regular old human here what's he doing there He's going somewhere. He's looking at something. He's suspicious. He's coming back. Did he see all the dead bodies? He's suspicious too. Oh, prisoners. I could probably start a riot or something. Yes, I am gonna let you out. Wahaha. <laughs> Riot! Riot! Ah, oh, damn it, I think he noticed me. Sh 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 shoot the unarmed prisoner! They could be immigrants, shoot them! You know you wanna. 
Come on. Don't shoot me. Yes. Ah, they didn't notice me. Damn it. Gonna have to oh, he, he, they are shooting him. Come on. Ah, damn it. I keep making the racism jokes because the cops in the US are very racist. And also this town was founded by, founded by a Nazi. So it's... It fits. I'm not trying to be age or anything. It's just the really, really horrible world we live in. Yes, the undead. We are the undead. Actually, you're gonna be the undead soon. Um, maybe I should have actually started the game in, in Punch Bowl. Because uh, in this world, this futuristic world, where technology is uh, quite advanced because of the, the, the Nazi scientists, uh, there are... Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't see that guy. There are robots everywhere. One of the reasons why you take over the town is that you're helped by a, by a guide bot, a tutorial bot, that uh, lets you do all sorts of criminal things because uh, in the end the, the the machines will not will not care if we uh, die or not they don't know the difference ah, damn it between a human and a zombie the machines will be our downfall or you know this will be our downfall come on why did I have to get hit so many times I don't have any HP left not even a Dell. Let's try this again. Come on, pull it out. This is hard mode, people. Oh, I shot the prisoner. No. Did not mean to shoot you, Mr. Prisoner. Just on death row. Trying to probably be experimented on by the Nazi. Ah, oh, damn it. Third guy. We're gonna be here a while, people. So this is a cell. It's... Jesus, this is huge. Like, you, you could actually partition this bit off and have, like, a proper bathroom. Wow. These people live in luxury. Like, prisons in Romania are terrible. They're, they're like, five bunk beds, maybe? In a, a size of, like, three quarters of uh, this? This is just plain luxury, and where they are... Ah, oh, damn it. I think I got myself stuck here, haven't I? Okay, probably gonna have to restart the level. Actually, can I just run past them? Or at least one of them? Actually, that guy. That's the only guy I need to run past by. Because now I get to go here... ...and save myself. Yes, I did it. I just ran past them. And everything's black. Yes, yes. Release me. Ha ha ha. Your reward will be... Brains eaten. And becoming a zombie. Now, the cinematics are still in this format. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because they use the Bing format. Uh, there, there's some Bing files. Oh, they're so cute when they do that. Oh no, the, oh, this is when these guys show up. So these guys, their brains can't be eaten because they're covered with helmets. But, actually, where did the guy go? He just vanished. Did he run away? Did I scare him? What the? You guys saw that, right? Either. There was a shield guy right here and now he's gone. This is the weirdest thing ever. It's so weird. Where did he go? Okay, that's, that's strange. So as I was saying at the beginning, but it probably didn't make much sense. They don't really make games like this anymore that often. It's, it's a unique game in today's market. It's just a, you know, simple level-based action game. It's just comedy. It does, it's not based on a brand. It's not based on anything. It's just you like grabbing your pancreas and throwing it at people and then doing this. Is he dead? I know my zombie's dead. I wonder if he... Are you... Are you on the, yeah, you're mine now, bitch. Yeah. 
So you, you, you're gonna just go that way. Yeah, go that way. We're gonna have fun. Yo, people. Come on. Did I mention this game is so fun? At some point, I'm gonna get the ability to roll my head around like a pinball. A uh, bowling ball, I mean. A pinball? What's a pinball? A pinball? No, another pinball's another thing. Yummy brains! Why can't I open this one? Why are you safe? There's something behind him, this... Was I supposed to be able to actually control this guy? Yeah, I think I was! Oh, god damn it. Okay, you're all getting farts. And eaten brains. Actually getting that. And they're gonna see more of it. Oh, come on. Yes! I disarmed you! You have been disarmed. See, this, people, this is why games from the olden days are better. You can do this in... Well, in only a few games. You can do this in Rune, you can do this in Severance, and you can do this in Stubbs. Well, yeah, and Quan Chi can do it in Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, no, Mortal Kombat 4. You, you can't do this in a lot of games. I mean, people say, well, it's this poor taste grabbing somebody's arm and then beating him with it. No, it's, it's great taste. You just have to have, you know, a fiendishly uh, terrifying tastes. <laughs> Look at it. It's just, it's just fun. Look at it. Look at the way. He's... Yeah, give me a hand. Come on, come on, come on. Eat brains. Yes. Eat brains to regenerate some health. Let's surprise them. <laughs> the zombies themselves will eat brains and eventually uh, run amok. The army's gonna come sometime. Oh goddamn it! Got a pancreas. Yeah, yoinks. Yoinks D two. Yummy! Buddies! Come on! Yeah, kill him, get him, get him, see? Come on, eat him, eat him! Yes! Yeah, you're gonna show us, sure. Can't wait for, to see what you're gonna show us. Show us how tasty your brains are? <laughs> yes! Feast upon him, my minions, my... Oh, by the way, um, zombies can still function without a head. I mean, it makes sense. You eat their brains, you crack their skulls, yet they still transform into zombies. So, makes sense. So I forgot to what the uh, button was for... Oh, yeah, R. <laughs> I can do this at will. I can do this at will. My will, not yours. You have no will. Your will is gone. Your will is just an extension of my will now. <laughs> I that was my favorite arm. That's this, this game is just great. It's just superb. Look at it. It's it's a joyous, gorgeous, just product of its time. It's beautiful. They don't they in the, the most literal sense possible. They do not make games like this one anymore. This and uh, destroy all humans. The, they don't make them. Like, do, do you think that today somebody would make something called a Crash Bandicoot? They would remake it, sure, absolutely. They would re-release it. But make it? No. I don't think so. It's actually tied to a show that I've been working on for uh, the past couple of uh, weeks. The one I'm trying to make fancier. Uh, it's still coming along. I I found a way to make it fancier, but it's going to require something that's not in stock at the moment at the local store. So uh, when it's in stock, I'm going to make it fancier properly. Proper fancy. Super... Ah, oh, no! Yes! Give me your arm! Hands down. Hands down. Fun game. Fun, fun, fun. Look at it. Bloody fun. It's, it's maniacal in its way. A bit, but you know, it's the right kind of mania. The dialogue is just so so joyous. Like when they're screaming, "Stop eating me!" or when when the robots say, "Please stop hitting me!" or, "Hey, want to see something disturbing? Look at this bit with 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 how 
They pump gas into cars. Yeah, that, that's scary, didn't it? Oh, damn it, I pressed Q by mistake. I wanted to press to press something else. See if I could throw the the, the thing, the, the, the other arm. Didn't work. So many cops. So many goddamn cops. Some levels of the game are a lot more open than this one, but uh, for the most part, this this is a an accurate description of what this game is. It, it's a level based. It's linear. It's straightforward. Well, I wouldn't. Okay, maybe not super linear because you do have some leeway to uh, where you can actually go and what you can actually do. But it this is it, and it's 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 fine for it to be this way. It's okay. It was always okay for it to be this way. I think I need to be with Stubbs here. So, uh, getting my... Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Still Not Undead. You're gonna be soon. I'm gonna make sure you're gonna be soon. Hello, Tasty. Buddy! So the way that uh, Stubbs' uh, zombieism works is that he, he doesn't just need to eat your brains. He can just, you know... Expose you to the uh, the zombie virus plague thing through other means like no other way other direction through you know uh, possession or gases or something else man that was that was a super punch let's see that and he comes back as a zombie he got punched so hard I think it's a blood or a lung contagion thing because it happens a lot it it is a very very effective plague virus thing let's see is this the exit yes but this uh, this will actually lead us to probably the hardest part of the game i think i actually cheated the first time i played this part because it was just it's have you played yakuza well you're gonna know what what what's next. It's a dance off. We have to do a dance off, and I failed this so hard the first time that I actually cheated to pass by it. No, the music is here, and I'm probably gonna have to mute this part. Okay, watch the pattern when the chief dances. Okay, WSD. Okay. Pum pum pum. This is the only part where the music shows up. It's it's nowhere else. I think they removed most of the music because of the one, two, three. Press the matching button. But wasn't that the matching button? Wasn't I supposed to press down? That screen is down, right? No, I think it's not. And the end result is, well, at least, at least it's over, people. Also, he has a pancreas on his foot. Does he have a pancreas in his foot? That is my pancreas. When the, when, when did I put the pancreas on his foot? I totally missed it. Probably gonna have to re <laughs> look at the recording and see when I put it there. But anyway, um. Stubbs zombie is out on the 16th and wait they're still they're still alive no that's Fred uh, pretty much every human character looks the same in the game and it kind of yeah she is the same and this guy just looks like the other guy hello this game is just fantastic. It's just the greatest thing ever. Now mind you, it's it's not a magnificently superb game. Like it's it's nice. It was nice when it came out, but in, in this climate of everything's an open world game as a service, this is this, this is downright like a, amazing. Oh and there's a robot. Police robot. Hello, Mr. Police Robot. Hello. Can I punch you? 
Uh, the, since, since this is a police robot, he will probably have something to say if I actually try to punch him. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Come on. Stop Hello. Okay, I'll stop ruining your finish and just do this instead. Ow. Yeah, if you'll excuse me, people, I'm gonna just play more of this and uh, not work. Even though I should be working. Because it's just amusing. Look at it. It's, it's just nice. I miss this kind of game. They didn't, they didn't outstay their welcome. They didn't try to sell you years worth of DLC and then make you pay a monthly, monthly subscription for it. It just, you know, existed. For a moment. A beautiful brief moment in time and it was beautiful. This is what beauty looks like, people. This is what beauty, true beauty, unblemished beauty, this is what it looks like. Hope you enjoy it. I certainly am enjoying it and will enjoy it until, you know, probably finish it. Then forget about it for like three years and then maybe remember it once in a blue moon and reinstall it and play it again. Because that's what you do with games here. They're not meant to last forever, you know, one game to last forever. It's okay for games to end, for them to have a period of time where you can just, you know, cool off. And I left my arm in punch bowl on the street. Goodbye, everybody. Have a zombie of a time. Zombie whales. There is an idea. There is an idea.